Hello, Richie Pietrzak here. After some problems yesterday, I have now managed to schedule a game against Michael Mitchell, another opponent on my way. Uh, I'm not very happy about this hand, but with independent reds and Truman Doctrine, it's almost an automatic play like this. I have four one of cards. It's quite ridiculous. But I will be able to have uh, CIA and Truman Doctrine gone. Uh, I got captured Nazi scientist. Quite useful as an event. I got Nasser. Very useful as a turn one event. And Nasser is my obvious headline. Oh, and he had headlined <laughs> Romanian abdication, uh, which makes independent reds far less playable. That was kind of sort of smart. I think I'm gonna space independent reds in this case. <laughs> Initial coup in Iran was more or less forced because I don't want him to have too many coup targets as I'm going to play CIA anyway. Preferably when DEFCON is at 2. I know he may have Fido. Uh, his rating is very low, even lower than uh, my of the rating of my previous opponent, Karoli Lukacs. Mm -hmm. Nicely played. I think I play it this way. And now what? Yeah. Let's event this before he does. Now that he came to Jordan, it's no longer valid for me to hmm, maybe I should have gone to only one here and play Truman and then independent sorry, independent is unplayable anyway, so until this all comes. Uh, I mean, now that he played Jordan, it would be premature to trigger Siwa's Crisis. It's weird. I am USSR. I should seize the initiative now, but I feel that my best bet is to respond to whatever he plays, because, okay, uh, my one of cards aren't very problematic as events. I mean, I want Nasser and captured Nazi scientist triggered by myself early, and I want CIA created and Truman Doctrine removed from the deck very early. But... Uh, but if I don't have good cards, he does, and that's a problem. Okay, I'm not going to push my luck, I'm going to resolve CIA now. He's gonna see my hand. Not the biggest deal ever. If he coups, I take Lebanon. If he doesn't... Hmm. It's not clear for me what to do if he doesn't coup. I think cooing Panama would be the right choice because I don't want him 
to be able to perform yet another coup against Egypt. It failed. It really shouldn't have worked. This would be very unfair for him. Although it was a 50-50 to clear Panama at least. <coughs> mm -hmm. Ouch. The fact that this failed can be troublesome. Suddenly, there's nowhere that I have advantage, really. Huh. I'm not happy about it. I should have gone to Lebanon, probably right now and in general I think I should stop for a while and think a little longer yeah he took Lebanon I rushed with this space race Oh, okay, it's quite a tough opening and, well, I would be very scared if I had this against a player like Jemovit or Harib or David Ariel. This time I can count on my opponent not being the master, but counting on such things can backf backfire very heavily. And yes, I can quite safely play the China card now, because CIA is no longer an issue. The problem is I probably don't want to. Mostly because uh, my hand is not convincing. So probably Suez Crisis, North Korea and Iraq. Excuse me. And then I have quite a tough time in Asia. And not so obvious in Europe. <coughs> With only Middle East reasonably good. Of course, as long as he doesn't push Jordan. Yeah, Asia is quite heavily taken by him. And there's not much I could do about it except um, securing North Korea from breaking. Yeah, of course, these two, which I put in Iraq, could have gone to Afghanistan, but well. He could have broken both with a 4-up as well. Okay, Middle East and Euroscoring. I think I'll headline Euroscoring because I don't believe it can get any better. And it can easily get worse. Now, this hand isn't terrible, but it's very unclear for me how to play it. NATO will be triggered. And, hmm. Okay, defected. Now, Am I playing duck and cover or am I spacing it? What's tempting is to play it right now. Ah, oh, but 
it's not gonna play a rough Israeli war in this case. Hmm. Hmm. No. It leaves him battleground coup. Yeah, I have to perform one, I may as well take a chance on Iran. No, oh, the coups aren't going my way. So, probably NATO to Libya and West Germany, just... Just let me get rid of this annoying NATO sign around Southeast Asian Ocean. If I play the China card, I probably hold on a Marshall Plan and Duck and Cover. Mm -hmm. Over controlling South Korea, I'm not very convinced about it. Of course, if he lets me to France now, I will go there with the Marshall Plan. He doesn't. Alright, so Middle East scoring must be played. Blockade to Afghanistan. Then we'll see. I'd like to hold the goal as a good headline. Because <laughs> Europe is going to return sooner or later. Special relationship is now activated. Italy is untakeable with brush war, probably untakeable whatsoever. Okay, he doesn't have Asia scoring. That's somewhat <coughs> lucky. <laughs> Sooner or later he will. Maybe I'll get five year plan and Asia scoring. Just possibly maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he doesn't forget about over controlling Pakistan, so space. Actually, maybe it's worth playing the goal now. I mean for an event. You an inter intervention with influence. This means he has something he wants to hold. 
hand something he's going to play for some reason he it should be distal maybe distal and equal i think it's worth risking the goal right now because what can he have okay he can have cards like containment and red square purge in which case uh, uh well holding one of them and playing another um, would save you an intervention for the next turn i probably would do it but i assume one of these is soviet card which is unplayable and he wants to hold it probably this though the other one is a good headline or a good AR6 card, but well, if it's distal and like Red Scar Pert, at least he plays the Red Scar right now, and I have access to Spain, Portugal. And I have 10 points at the start of turn 2, which is worth something by itself. I didn't get Asia scoring. Okay, so my best bet is now to give up Asia, focus on Europe. And Socialist Governments is a very helpful card for this. I'm gonna take one from France and two from UK, followed up with Marshall Plan entirely to France, so that he doesn't control UK, just with the Marshall Plan. He'll have to spend one turn more. Okay, defected Socialist Governments. Not great but not as terrible as it would be. Okay, since I know that he has uh, Asia scoring anyway, Maybe it's worth checking what else does he have. Only Asia. <laughs> it's very improbable that he scores anything better from Asia. but he tries. Alright. Then I should cool. Oh, and emptying Panama is a good news. Yeah, Asia scored seven points for him. Dico quite obviously targeted. Uh, 
the targeting of East European unrest is also quite obvious. I mean, I can't really do much in Europe now. Mm -hmm. Well, that was reasonable. And that's one of the reasons to not play the China card. Oh, I'm not in a rush actually, so I miss space that I can't cover. Actually, with East European unrest, I may try to take Turkey. <laughs> and then lessen the impact of Marshall Plan by taking Greece and Spain, Portugal, and if he takes either, uh, I may just space Marshall plan. Oh, he spaces Fido, okay. And all of a sudden, Europe is quite secured. And I'm going to end the early war, leading by four points, I suppose. With US-Japan Mutual Defense Pact in my hand, which is not the worst card ever. Asia has been scored. It's hard to flip anyway. And it is a follow-up card. But this map doesn't look very promising in the long run. On the good side, I got rid of Fido. This tower with you and intervention. Hmm. This angle I was dubious. Hmm. What do we play with such hand? Mm. I think we headline South America scoring because it can't get better. How I learned and how you learned. I don't have a good two-op card to perform coup. So... What's your decision? Defcon is at two, okay. 
in this case I'm gonna give you Japan preparing OPEC for four points <laughs> now I'd love to hold OAS but in this case what am I doing with five-year plan space card hmm. something should be on the other hand in this case I should probably space twice because I really want to be on my fifth step and soon sixth step if I'm unable to space grain sales to Soviets and of course we don't want under such circumstances to hold five-year plan oh this is nice this is a coup target not so nice in terms of Angola being flippable now. Oh. Mm, decisions, decisions, dilemmas, dilemmas. I'd love to boost Angola and Zaire so that they are not flippable. But I don't have a good card to do it. I want to, to event this anyway, so let's event this anyway. And wait for whatever is going to happen. Quagmire to space race. Okay, one dilemma fewer. I think he may have South African unrest in Botswana was just a preparation of this but I don't want to risk it too much and I think I'll have to bite the bullet and just play the entire hand including OAS founded in which case I probably space nuclear subs Yuck. for containment and this changes a lot for starters I am going to bet on cooling Thailand and it was quite well it, it worked quite well It doesn't look ignorable for him. Of course, he doesn't know that the best I could do is to put Kennedy there. My next coup target is probably Angola with Summit. Assuming he doesn't coo, of course. <coughs> mm. 
No rod for influence, okay. Where was the third one? Israel, okay. So let's go Angola. Failed, but Defcon was dropped. And what am I doing with the rest of this hand? Hmm. I think I am playing Kennedy. He has containment, so he would be able to space Long Gunman anyway. So if he has Long Gunman now, and was counting on this. Boom. Boom. Yeah, resolve it. Well, kitchen debates. Okay. No, it's not enough to stop his African domination. Well, this is enough. <laughs> but of course, nuclear subs will turn the tables. On the other hand, when should I play nuclear subs if not during the turn with salt negotiations active? Mm -hmm. Israel is pointless at this time. <laughs> he only has one spur point from this. Hmm. Breaking Egypt, I'm not convinced with this one. But maybe it's a provoking move, preparing Sadat. <laughs> All right. I don't like it. These Americas are funnily and stupidly empty. And yes, it was about Sadat. Oh no. Crane sails. Five year plan and Southeast Asia. Hmm. How about we will bury you? Five year plan discarding Southeast Asia. Crane sails to space. And. Okay. Yep. <laughs> now that was quite funny. Okay, I will have to give him these points anyway. So let's do it before he plays the China card. And regain Africa. The problem is he can coup, I cannot. Hmm. 
now that setup is gone, at least temporarily, it may be worth taking Egypt. And only after seeing Camp David triggering Muslim revolution. If it happens this turn. But if it doesn't, of course I have to suffer playing Muslim revolution. I'm playing the entire hand, basically. All right, this makes Muslim revolution even juicier. In the meantime, we have to return Usuri. I mean, we have to return the China card. And the problem is there are no good targets for Ops placement. So I think now grain saves to space. I, I played this uh, also a reverse skirmish because I wanted to hand him the China card ASAP before he triggers cultural revolution. I know he may play it once again and then trigger cultural revolution. Uh, but this paradoxically lessens the flexibility of his hand. Okay, so this is time to play it. It very much looks like he has the scoring. Oh, yes, is painful potentially. And I can't really do things about it. What I may count on is a good realignment, because I can't even coup. Hmm. Yuck, that sucks. It really sucks. Oh, but he didn't even fight for Europe. And that is nice, he could have. <sighs> All right, I don't have good targets for influence placement. I mustn't coup, so I think the best I can do is to put place my bet on realignments. At the very worst, I lose my position in Central and South America. South is scored, Central is cheaper plus there are there is liberation theology for the rescue didn't work as maybe not as ex as expected because I, I expected a failure but as I wanted <coughs> oh well Actually, Chile looks quite dubious. Maybe he has Ayenda with nothing good to do with it. He still has containment. <laughs> Southeast Asia scoring is going to come back sooner or later, so maybe. Oh, this is very unpleasant. 
So maybe it's worth taking this. I'm gonna play five year plan anyway. So this is just going. So, so played. Quagmire spaced. Okay, at least I have the China card back. Highly isolated, so it was the best target, Venezuela is the second best. Okay, I can't complain about the results of these realignments. Overall, I shouldn't complain about this turn, and his play made Cuban Missile Crisis almost completely useless. He didn't perform a single coup. He didn't take a single non-battleground in Americas, which he could have and should have probably even without my OAS. And... Oh, and he played Middle East scoring, so gave me another points. Didn't coup by himself, so no military operations gained. And this starts looking good. Southeast Asia is just yet to be scored, but what's remaining? Africa and Central America, and I have Central America. So, Liberation Theology, his containment, yes, this was somewhat to be predicted. Mm -hmm. Now, Alliance for Progress is free. So, yep. Ouch, this failed. But now, Central America is giving me three. Arms Race is giving me three. Willy Brandt is giving me the one. I'm lacking. It is possible that I am going to win this game this turn on victory points. It is by no means certain, but it is possible. Panama Canal returned as an event. This makes things a little worse. But let's not complain too much. I assume he now coups Guatemala, after which Central America scores three, I guess. Or just two. Just do. Wow, but if special relationship is for a coup. No, three. And I fear it may never get better. Now, I will probably attempt in the Pakistani war against India. No great chance of success. But two victory points is what I care most about. 
uh, sorry, to military operations to activate arms race. His special relationship was a three because of containment. And with the Pakistani war, it's easy for him to overlook that uh, military operations is what was really triggered. After this, oh, whatever. Arms race must wait until the next turn. So, in the meantime, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, I have just enough time to space per trap. No longer two of cards spacing, but also I see his headline. I think I will trigger Willy Brandt for this one victory point and try to hold arms race. And maybe he has Africa scoring. It very much looks so. So first let's make this unflippable. Because Africa scoring with my domination would win me the game. And Africa is the only remaining scoring in the deck. Whereas all other scorings are going to return. He really has Africa scoring. His play makes absolutely no sense otherwise. Or he fears that I have Africa scoring um, and I am able to win the game, but this is nonsense if I had had Africa scoring, I had time to score it instead of spacing bear trap and to end the game. If he uses Junta like this, Gave me one victory point, so I may resign from the one victory point that Willy Brandt would give, because I'm three behind, I, I, I'm three ahead, sorry, I'm 17 ahead, so arms race is enough anyway. And we have the answer. He had Africa scoring, which means that I have to thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see each other in the next game.